So today I want to talk about some recent huge news coming out of the CS Major world that is going to change Counter-Strike Majors potentially forever and could also have some big, in, uh, big impact on the CS investing world as well. There's obviously some changes. Uh being made to how you qualify for the upcoming Shanghai Major. I believe the Shanghai Major is, yeah, November to December, um, so the end of the year. Uh, and again, I don't know if these changes are going to take an effect for all of the majors in the future, just Shanghai Major or whatever, but in this video today, we're going to be going over all of those changes and more. Um, first, just wanted to plug my cash trading business real quick. If you are looking to turn any of your CS items or maybe even your entire inventory into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Uh, just DM me and we can probably get a deal done. I'm buying almost anything and everything for the right price. Obviously, prices are a little bit crazy right now, a little bit all over the place. Um, but if you have uh, some things you're trying to sell for some reasonable prices, um, we can get a deal done. Uh, you can get a cash out safely, effectively, and efficiently. And of course, you're helping support me, my channel, and my content by selling to me. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, we had this tweeted out from the CS Perfect World Twitter account. They said, we gladly announce that all our Mars for the Perfect World Counter-Strike 2 Shanghai Major will be held at LAN in Shanghai, China. From November 11th to December 15th with the top 56 CS2 teams on Earth, we welcome every CS to this grand esports event of 35 days. Can't wait to see you all. So this is a tweet that has gotten a lot of people up in arms. Here is that regional qualifier schedule. We have uh, Europe with two closed qualifiers. We have the Americas um, with two closed close qualifiers. We have Asia with some open qualifiers qualifiers and then some closed stuff we have the rmr schedule um with the different rmrs taking place and then of course we have the shanghai major schedule starting on november 30th and going to december 15th that's what we're looking at so if you are somebody who bases your previous uh, borderless sticker investments, whether it be Stockholm or Antwerp or whatever, off of the uh, uh, major start times or whatever. Just understand that you, November 30th is when this uh, thing is eventually or officially going to start. So if you want to sell or buy or whatever, kind of keep that in mind. That's what that timeline is looking like. But why does this tweet have so many people freaking out? What is exactly going on? So Osney tweeted out this and many people in the community had this reaction. Perfect World has announced huge changes to the major playoffs. What change? From now on, our Mars will no longer have open qualifiers and the best 16 teams from the previous major no longer have automatic qualification to RMR. Invites to RMR will be given based on the Valve World Ranking. So my first reaction to that is obviously hopefully the Valve World Rankings are pretty good and are pretty accurate and are pretty up to date. Uh, hopefully they do a good job of actually evaluating who the best teams are. But some other people are reacting to this. Osney saying, hey, this didn't age well. We think that Counter-Strike should be an open sport. So they're saying, hey, now that the closed, now there's closed qualifiers, the dream of, you know, five friends uh, teaming up with the power of friendship and making some run to a CS2 major, that dream is dead and that is no longer possible. And that has a lot of people upset. Um, I kind of have, have a different opinion. I don't really think that's that big of a deal. Yes, it is a cool story. Yes, there have been some nice runs by orgs. And yes, um, getting all these people together for these things is very, very cool. Um, but at the end of the day there were so many pointless teams and pointless matches being played with literally like five people who were um, not even very good um, playing up against, you know, very, very talented teams, stuff like that. And at the end of the day, those things are expensive and hard to run or whatever. And ultimately, if those people want to have professional Counter-Strike dreams or dreams of making it to a tournament or whatever, those people should be playing in lower events. There shouldn't be teams that are forming for one event a year and it being the biggest events in all of CS2. You know, it's not like um, five friends um, have a chance to qualify to to the, um, I don't know, to the Premier League or even to the Champions League or something like that. You know, if, five, uh, if, if a bunch of friends want to get together and play a soccer team, yeah, maybe they have a chance of qualifying for some sixth division somewhere and working their way up, but you can't just roll off your couch and show up to the biggest events of the year in most other things. Now, I know people want to say esports are different or whatever, but um, also you have to understand that the stability um, of not having to, you know, qualify for super volatile uh, qualifiers, especially with the potential cheating problems and stuff going on, um, that stuff is bad for investors, bad for organizations long-term, whatever. Um, um, all at the expense of, hey, having five friends give the dream of coming off the couch and playing in an open qualifier where they, um, you know, lose however many matches and then kind of get sent home real quick. Of course, there are the awesome stories like Ecstatic from the most recent major and stuff like that. Um, but hey, again, still, if those teams want to qualify and want to whatever, um, they should do so by consistently placing in tournaments and playing in tournaments throughout the whole year because at the end of the day the major should be the best teams and it should be rewarded for the organizations that are having good years and are in good form leading up to these tournaments not just teams who go on um, you know one crazy run and whatever again if they want to do that 
perform well in tournaments. I don't know. I'm not as uh, necessarily upset by some of these things as some other people are. Maybe it's because I have more of a traditional sports background. I don't really know. Um, but some interesting things are definitely the fact that the best 16 teams from the previous major will no longer have automatic qualification. Could that lead to us getting more unique sticker sets since we won't have so much rollover from the same teams from event to event? I don't know. Will that be a good change, a bad change? Should teams be rewarded for their previous major uh, again? Or should it be a whole body of work throughout the year or consistently performing? I don't really know. Uh, and again, are these changes even going to stick or is this just Shanghai specific? And then eventually we're going to see some changes rolled out. I don't really know. But of course, the community has been up in arms, and I do get why people why people would be upset. I do get um, some of that, but also you have to understand we've seen so much turnover in organizations. We've seen so many organizations, uh, some of these uh, you know just buying teams uh, and then trying to farm stickers and then kind of dissolving and liquidating, and that leads to some weird kind of rollover and uh, turnover in the CS community that maybe Valve doesn't want. Maybe they want more consistent teams. Uh, maybe they want to see a lot of the same teams and get, like I said, bring organizations some of that stability, uh, but also reward the best teams who have been uh, dominant and, and putting money and investment in the scene throughout the year um, because those teams who um, keep the, the the scene alive throughout the rest of the year, um, they should be rewarded as well, not just these teams who pop up kind of left and right just for qualifiers uh, and then go to majors and then we don't hear from them the rest of the year or whatever because those teams aren't building up um, the CS fan bases, the CS communities, or, or even the eSport in general. Um, they're just kind of farming stickers a couple times a year. But um, there's a petition for Valve to keep major open qualifiers have, that's already been created. Again, obviously, it's getting a lot of attention, signatures, all that stuff. Yef, he tweeted out this, we can't prevent cheaters and open qualifiers, so what do we do? No more open qualifiers, Valve fix. And this is a lot of people um, saying this in the community, but um, they're, uh, you know, I don't think this is necessarily the only reason we're going to get into that in a second, but obviously, yes, if cheaters are an issue, yes, you do not want cheaters potentially qualifying for a major, or even at the very least, eliminating other teams from qualifying for a major who would have otherwise qualified, um, but we did have this uh, kind of in the notes or whatever. Um, half of a region's RMR teams will be directly invited via regional standings, so remaining positions will be filled via closed qualifiers. The date of the regional standings used for invitations will be communicated in advance by the tournament organizer uh, and all teams in the closed qualifier will be invited directly based on the regional standing if it is not practical to fill all closed qualifier positions via regional standings the, ter the tournament organizer may supplement with open qualifiers uh, the date of the regional standings used for the purpose of invitations will be announced in advance by the TO so that's um, some of the new updates we have in the CS stuff uh, any percent speed run killing counter-strike by both devs and TOs poor decision um, by not having open qualifiers again a lot of these people are maybe just farming up votes from the community and stuff like that too I don't know if this is necessarily how everyone truly feels whatever but it's definitely the popular community sentiment so i get why a lot of people would be tweeting it out and you know going for engagement and likes and stuff like that and maybe they do truly believe that i'm not saying they don't um, but i am saying it's the easy opinion to have right now News broke this morning that the Perfect World TS Major in Shanghai uh, to close this year will be removing open qualifiers for some regions, including NA and EU, likely due to the immense amount of cheaters we've seen in opens, but a decision that was rightfully upset uh, plenty. And again, it's not just because of that. We'll get into that in a second, though. Removing open qualifiers where everyone with a dream could make it to the Major is insane. It's what set CS apart from games like Valorant, uh, forced a new intrusive anti-cheat for Valve events, and then, if necessary, incredibly weak Band-Aid fix to combat cheaters. Uh, this move from Valve tells us a lot about their confidence in their AI-based AI anti-cheat system. Um, and then you had some organizations saying stuff as well. It's not always a perfect world, a message to Counter-Strike. Uh, the situation puts many players and organizations in a position of uncertainty to continue investing their time and resources into Counter-Strike and will likely affect the lower tier who are working day in and day out to climb the ladder for a shot at making it uh, into and through the RMR. Please join us in signing this position as we uh, and the rest of the community want to continue writing history in a game we all know and love. From Entropic, we had Ecstatic saying as well, sad day for the CS2 scene. We made it to the major in Copenhagen, but it wouldn't have been possible without open qualifiers. Um, I mean, yeah, it would have been possible if you uh, consistently were a top team in the Valve ranking, so it just would have been possible in different ways. You would have had to do different things. Um, now the major is just another regular tournament. Uh, and no, that's, I mean, it's kind of true, but again, it's where all the best teams from the year are going to be showing up to and trying their hardest and trying their best it's not just another regular tournament maybe it's just another regular tournament for teams like ecstatic um, but should the best teams only be playing at the smaller tournaments and then randomly we get lower tier teams at the biggest tournament i don't know if that necessarily makes sense either um valve ranking is now more important than ever for teams wanting to make major it was updated two days ago here's what the top 15 looks like this is outdated and old at this point um, but you have mao spirit phase vitality navi eternal fire you know these are the rankings um, that are going to be mattering and people are going to be looking at a lot more closely but it's also going to give us a better idea of what teams are going to be qualifying what teams are going to be getting those juicy new stickers that's definitely going to be going to be something to keep an eye out for but again aqua is missing tweet out this 
this. Some people may have the opinion of this to combat cheaters on open qualifiers or whatever, but this was already announced last summer. Invitation to all tournaments will use our ranking system or otherwise be determined by open qualifiers. So, uh, is it necessarily just to combat the cheating problem? Not necessarily. It seems like something that's been planned and in the works for quite some time um, because maybe they just haven't felt the open qualifiers has been the best method or the best way to pick teams to go to your major. I don't know. Also, just some random other news, something I want to throw in at the end of this video just because it was something that I don't really know when I'll ever be able to talk about it. Looks like this feature will probably be supported in CS2 after yesterday's update. There are some references to clips in the game files. Um, you might be able to create some clips uh, coming soon. I don't know. Kind of looks interesting, kind of new. Wanted to add at least a bright, uh, happy, cheery spot to the end of this video. Um, maybe some cool stuff coming soon. Maybe even a big new CS2 update is on the horizon. We'll have to wait and see. But pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully, I catch you in the next one. Until then.